Boy, is it hot here. And I know that it's hot where many of you are, too. My poor plants are just suffering so much. Um, I've got some fruit trees, and oh, it's sad. <laughs> I won't talk about it. And the air conditioning's on the fritz. So, yeah, today I'm the almost naked soaper. But no one will ever see that. <laughs> um, that being said, I wanted something cooling. So what's more cooling than a popsople? That's what I'm calling these instead of a popsicle. These are popsoples. So what do you think? I'm going to be coloring these with some Wilton gel food coloring only because I have them. Um, I rarely make melt and pours, but because I make my own melt and pour, I sometimes will make like herbal soaps with my melt and pour. But this time I want to do something a little different, a little more fun and whimsical. And that's what I'm doing here. Now you can purchase real colorants at Brambleberry or Wholesale Supply, but this was some something I did on the spur of the moment. So I just used my cake uh, piping colorant. And it's perfectly skin safe. Um, you wouldn't want to use it in all your soaps, but again, this is just for fun. And I'm going to be fragrancing this with uh, the one of the only, I think I have three fragrance oils. And this is one of the three, and it's a bubble gum. And I've used it in one other soap, my childhood soap. And it just seemed like it's got those great fruity fragrances, and it seemed perfect for Pope Soap, Pop Soaples. <laughs> I create the word and then can't repeat it. Now a little more on the topic of quote-unquote naked soaping. Right now, throughout the nation, a lot of people are using air conditioning and sucking up a lot of energy. And I don't suggest anyone be uncomfortable. If you can afford to stay cool, please do. Uh, your safety is of paramount concern to me. I care about you. Um, I, out of necessity, <laughs> had to strip down because I was getting really hot. And I mean, I've got a wet towel. While I was making this soap, I had a wet towel around my neck and uh, was doing everything I could to stay cool, but I still wanted to make a soap. That is tenacity. And if you've ever wondered what the definition of that is, this is it. It could also be called ignorance. <laughs> But that air conditioning is fixed now. That's the good news. So no more worries. So I jumped through some parts of this simply because I didn't think it would be that interesting to watch me just pouring. But I've left enough in there to give you an idea of what was going on. Um, now, I've been working longer hours recently. I've taken on a bit more responsibility at work, which I love, by the way. I'm doing something now that I feel I was meant to do. But I'm, it's a lot. <laughs> so I do this after work. But I can tell you that today, tonight, when I got off, it was still outside 93 degrees, I believe. So, please, please, just stay safe, everyone. I just can't say that enough. It's really easy to get overheated, and I don't want that to happen to you. If you do go outside, if you do any gardening or anything like that, please stay hydrated. Carry bottles of water with you, a thermos, whatever works for you.
they they set up and here I stuck them in the freezer for a bit uh, to hopefully make them easier to release but they were still a little tricky I had to really wiggle them around and pull on them to get them to come out but as you can see they came out now I like the the color but it just doesn't show up on camera I tried to show you with this LED light, the green, the blue, but even there, it doesn't seem to come across on the camera real well. In person, it's nice. Now, they look dark, they, and they are. Um, and I would use less color at next time. Of course, I would use the right color. If I did this again, I think I will get some coloring for Melt and Pour Soap. Um, but I won't use these gel colorants again, I think, because they just run a little dark. But here they all are, out of the molds. And laying there, they look black, but they're not, I assure you. It's all a matter of the light. Um, this one actually is kind of a grape color on top, and then it's got a blue layer and a green layer, but they, you can't see it here. What I should do is get a light underneath so you can really see the colors and I might try to do that but it was too hot and I wasn't up to it at the time <laughs> I just wish these were real popsicles that would have been so cooling at the time and I will be honest while I was messing with them I was thinking they're gonna melt on my desk <laughs> because it's so hot but they're so they didn't melt I wish they had been popsicles I'd probably got in the bathtub with them <laughs> So I did these because it was hot and it just seemed like a fun, easy to do thing. And I had the extra melt and pour that I'd made, but I don't have a use for these and I don't have any little children around me to give these to. So I'm gonna stick these in the Etsy store for $3, including shipping, so free shipping. So if you want one or even two, they're there. <laughs> if no one buys them, that's fine too. I'll find a home for them. Uh, they smell like bubble gum and they look like they look. Uh, they, and in person, they look much better. <laughs> Thanks everyone. I really appreciate you so much. You have a terrific day and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.